What I'm wearing is a uh, flight suit. Anyone from a pilot to pit crew um, will wear them. It's kind of the, the general uniform for anybody who either flies or works on something that flies. Uh, main functionality wise, you know, they're just, they're easy to clean. It's, it's you know, basically just a grease suit. <laughs> Uh, the branch of the military that I was in was the Army. Uh, I worked um, on a pit crew servicing helicopters. Uh, I joined the Army mainly because it's a sort of a family career. Um, my dad, my dad's dad, cousins, everybody kind of puts in their time, um, you know, and then either moves on or makes it a life decision. I never, when I was in the military, was in a red zone at all, um, so I never had anything, I was never in any life or death situations. Um, other than, uh, I guess there were a couple times when, you know, you catch something that someone's servicing a helicopter incorrectly and, you know, if they didn't tighten it appropriately, the, you know, something could have fallen off, <laughs> somebody could have fallen out of the, the sky. So, so, I mean, there's definitely a lot of responsibility that goes with that sort of job, even though you're not in a red zone, you're not in a combat zone, people's lives definitely still depend on what it is that you're doing. I do have a favorite story I like to tell about being in the Army. Uh, it, it, it's all the way back in basic, a bunch of us went out. We were not supposed to, you're not supposed to go out during basic, you're not supposed to drink, you're not supposed to go and do anything, you know, that, that you're not supposed to. We ended up at a bar, and it just happened to be a marine bar. We were really lit, and one thing led to another, and there was a large fight, and we had to like run out. We got in ridiculous amounts of trouble the next day. It was, it was really rough, but the whole, I got your back and I barely know you thing kind of made us all really, really tight-knit as we continued to go through basic, which made it so much, so much better. My favorite thing about being in the military is probably the camaraderie that you feel. Uh, the whole Band of Brothers things, it's, it's a selling point that they use now, you know, in a lot of the ads, but it's, it's absolutely true. You, you know, even if you go and you move on, you do something else in your life, you know, you can call up that person that, that went through basic with you and they'll have your back for whatever it is that you need. And uh, that's, that's just really awesome to know. There were interesting sexual adjacent sort of situations. I never had the balls to sort of act on any of the things, uh, the things that went on, but it, it was almost kind of a common occurrence that, uh, you know, someone would be masturbating and you kind of knew that they were masturbating, you could see what was going on, and they didn't really care that you maybe were looking or that you were paying attention. So as close as I got was kind of, you know, getting off watching some of the, the guys in my unit, you know, beat off because everyone's got to do what they got to do. Where does that sort of activity take place? Uh, usually in the barracks. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of you in one space and there's, you know, maybe three or four bathrooms if, if you get that. So, you know, ideally you probably want to beat off in the shower, but it's just, <laughs> it's not possible. So, you know, you kind of got to try to fake it as you're laying next to somebody or, you know, someone's on the bunk below you. But it, it, it works. You know, everybody's, we all get it. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do.